The story begins around the time of the Berlin Olympics in 1936, when the Indian team played the hockey finals against Germany. Despite the Germans attempting to play rough against the Indian team, the Indians start winning in the second half. When the team's assistant manager, Tapan Das, Akshay Kumar, shows them the Indian flag during the half-time break. When the captain Samrat, Kunal Kapoor, and team receive the gold medal. The British national anthem is played and the flag of British India is hoisted. But the Indian team promise themselves that they will win a gold medal once again on behalf of their motherland. After India gets independence, the subsequent Olympics are cancelled because of World War II. After the war, a drunk and spoiled Tapan roams and loses in several bets but sobers up when he gets the news that the next Olympics will be held in London in 1948. He holds aspirations of making India play hockey as a free country. Coaching a novice hockey team to earn independent India's first Olympic gold medal at the 1948 Summer Olympics. Uddharan Chene. Tapan now struggles to win his position as a joint manager of the team and promises to bring up best players from the new generation. He manages to convince Mr. Wadia and goes out for his work back. He meets the former hockey captain Samrat, now retired, to lead to guide the team. But Samrat refuses and suggests teammate Imtiaz Ali Shah, Vineet Kumar Singh, Imtiaz. A great contributor of the 1936 Olympics along with Samrat. Was a soldier for the Indian National Army. Tapan meets Imtiaz and they decide to continue their dream and oath to win the gold medal for an independent India. With independence for India looming on the horizon. Tapan travels to different parts of India to scout for the best players for the team. Uddharan. Finally Tapan keeps his promise and creates the national hockey team, taking players from several regions. Among them are Thakur Raghubir Pratap Singh, Amit Saad, and Himmat Singh, Sunny Kaushal, a pair of talented centre forwards from Central India and Punjab. Uddharan. Meanwhile, India gets independence, but is also partitioned into India and Pakistan. During a riot, Imtiaz gets injured when some Hindus and Sikhs tried to burn him alive. But is saved by Tapan and Himmat. They reach Imtiaz's house come hockey club. But to their disappointment, his house is burnt and destroyed. A heartbroken Imtiaz refuses to stay further in India and leaves for Lahore. A heartbroken Tapan narrates that along with the division of the country, their dreams and aspirations also broke apart. Half the team ends up playing for Pakistan, while a few others mainly Anglo-Indians move to Australia. Tapan decides to make it on his own, and brings up the team for practice at a small Buddhist school. The head monk of the ashram is convinced because he was a great fan of hockey and Samrat. The team is brought here through Tapan's own money. His wife, Monabina Das, Moni Roy. Also supports and helps him realize his dreams the training begins but there is a lack of teamwork. Between the players due to several conflicts. Raghubir, who keeps on his pride. Always tries himself to get over the hard-working Himmat. On the other hand, Devam Chaturvedi is an efficient player with wit and wisdom. Tapan and Samrat finally teach the players a lesson of unity and conclude the training. Samrat makes Devang, the captain, Raghubir, the vice captain and tells Tapan that Himmat is a hidden treasure to be used at the right time of the Olympics. Uddharan Chene, Mr. Wadia, as a chairperson of the hockey council, becomes the head coach and Tapan is once again honored as the assistant manager of the team. A Jalas Mehta, Atul Kale. Deceives Tapan by mixing some alcohol in his drink, and an intoxicated Tapan behaves very badly in the party organized by the hockey council and is fired from his position. Being replaced by Mehta, Uddharan, the team is now brought to the Olympic level in London by Mehta.
But Mehta's usual ego and pride brings upon his bad image to the players when they complain against him. Mr. Wadia then sends for Tapan. And Tapan comes to London with the blessing of Mr. Wadia, who himself returned there from New York. The Olympics begin but Himmat is not allowed to play. India plays well to reach and win the semi-finals. But since he is not in the player list, Himmat thinks it is a conspiracy by Raghubir just to let him down. During a celebration, Himmat starts fighting with Raghubir and a conflict grows between them, which tarnishes Himmat's image. Devang and Raghubir try to explain to Himmat that it was Tapan who selected the player list for the game, but all in vain. Uddharan Chene. Finally, in the semi finals, Tapan has listed Himmat to play. But since other players had complained against his behavior the previous night, Himmat is not allowed to play. Tapan explains the reason that in the league matches, the opponent players mark the good players. And in the semi finals or finals, they have marked making it difficult for them to play well. Although India wins the semi finals, it turns a hard match. Uddharan. In the finals. During the first half against Great Britain. Himmat is benched again, and Great Britain scores two goals. During half-time in the Indian dressing room Tapan has a heated argument with Mehta about the need. Of Himmat's playing when Mehta refuses to change the team at the last minute. Tapan shows everyone the Indian flag and tells them he has been carrying it since Berlin Olympics. To see his dream come true. He leaves the room telling Raghubir that if he doesn't understand the unity of team now it will be too late for him. Uddharan Chene. Then after. The second half starts Himmat is seen playing and then scores a goal with the help of Raghubir. Although bad weather conditions seemed in favor of the British. Tapan asks everyone to open their shoe to maintain grip on the ground. Finally India wins the match at 4-3 with Himmat scoring the last-minute goal. Uddharan. Finally, when the captain, Devam receives the gold medal. The national flag of independent India is hoisted and the anthem, Jana Gana Mana, is played. A proud Tapan concludes the narration with the words, Vande Mataram. Victory to Mother India. As the anthem ends and tears of happiness take place. Uddharan.